Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are making pure vanilla extract. If you've ever purchased this in the store, it's pretty expensive. Four, maybe five dollars an ounce, somewhere in there, depending on where you get it. We're gonna make it a whole lot cheaper. Stick around, I'm gonna show you how. Now, to make vanilla extract, you really only need two ingredients. That's vanilla beans, and the second ingredient is alcohol most commonly used with vodka, like an 80 proof, 40% alcohol. That's it, two ingredients. Now there's different kinds of vanilla beans out there. There's Madagascar beans, Tahitian beans, there's other types also. Today we're using the Madagascars and you can also substitute vodka with rum or some type of bourbon. Today we're using vodka because we want as pure of a flavor as possible. Now keep in mind, when we make this, this is pure vanilla extract. It's not like buying vanilla in the store. If you look at the ingredients, the first ingredient in most vanilla that you buy at the store is water. Probably almost three quarters water with a little bit of alcohol and vanilla beans. This is pure alcohol and beans, not watered down. So if you're going to cook with this, keep in mind, look at the recipe because you're probably going to use less vanilla extract than you would just normal vanilla. As I mentioned, we're using Grade AB Madagascar Bourbon Vanilla Beans. I just got the first package open. Look at these. Each bean is about 6-8 inches long and what we're going to do is cut these long way because you want all the vanilla from the inside to be able to leach out into the vodka and I can tell you right now the smell is amazing from these beans being cut up so you can take a scissors or just a knife and basically you're just gonna cut long ways just to get this bean open just like that so we're gonna go ahead and get all these cut and we'll get them in the glass container and get a little close up there I don't know if you can see that, but see that all that goodness in there? Basically, we just want all that to leach right out. And some people cut them like this because they're easy to slice. It doesn't really matter. You just want to slice them open so all the inside can leach right out. Now, I did go ahead and cut these in half because it seems like it's easier to cut these when it's not as long of a cut and I bought these vanilla beans online you can get them at your grocery store but usually they sell one or two of them and they're pretty expensive these uh, were not a little bit cheaper online actually they were a lot cheaper online and these are pretty moist I've uh, I've I've heard of people complaining that their vanilla beans were kind of dried out these are not even close to dried out they are really really moist so that's going to actually bring out and give us a little bit of better flavor because they're fresh. These were vacuum sealed and I got them on Amazon. Okay, so as I mentioned, we're going to double this recipe. I'm using Kirkland Vodka, my favorite. It's inexpensive and many people say this version of the Kirkland Vodka is like Tito's. So we're going to pour ourselves, like I said, we're doubling this recipe. So instead of one cup for six beans, we're going two cups and 12 beans. So there's our two cups of vodka. We have all our vanilla beans right here cut. These are 12 beans cut the long way and then I've cut them in half. And we're gonna put them in here to process. This is my 16 ounce container. But before I put them in there, I wanna put them in this clear bottle because I wanna put the beans in here, shake it with the alcohol and then show you what it looks like. So I'm gonna get the beans in this bottle first. Okay, see, you got all the vanilla beans in the bottle. We're gonna pour our vodka in on top. I'm gonna to use a funnel here and pour this in. Another reason why you wanna cut these in half is because you want your vanilla beans all the way covered. All right, I'm gonna put a cap on here and I'll see you can see the vanilla coming out of there already. I'm gonna shake these real good. Now you can see, look at all the vanilla that's coming out of there. So that's gonna be 
a little bit cloudy, but in the end, that's going to be very good tasting vanilla. So, again, like I said, I put it in the glass bottle so that you could see what it looks like once you start shaking it. But we're going to leave them set in these. And this has to set for eight weeks, so two months. You want to leave this set before you use it. And you'll notice it's not dark like the vanilla you buy in the store. That's because most vanillas, they put caramel color in to make it dark. Pure vanilla extract is actually clear most of the time. Now before I pour this in, the other container that it's going to process for two months in. I just get a little tiny taste here. So, let's get a taste. Wow. It hasn't even been that long and you can really start to taste the vanilla. This is going to be good. So that's it. That's all there is to making pure vanilla extract. This stuff is going to be delicious in two months when we give it a try. Now, if you make this, make sure you shake it every couple days for the whole eight weeks that it's processing. And then enjoy. Remember, pure vanilla extract is way stronger than the vanilla you get in the store. So if you're going to cook with it, just keep that in mind so you don't overpower with vanilla. Please do me a favor. Click that little thumbs up button like my video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click the little bell. You'll get notifications when I post a new video. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.